Hey everybody, this is Oliver, and again I would like to talk about coding for HIP, and again it is just um, well a basic overview of things uh, because a there is documentation, not perfect, but there is documentation, and b a great way to learn is like to experiment yourself. So I invite you to do that, um, especially today if you want to know how the editor of HIP works and how you can create it and um, yeah, maybe just modify it, not create it, but modify it in a, in a way. Um, and we should have a look at an editor. And I chose, um, as you can see, multiple choice. Multiple choice because um, the editor kind of has everything in there that is relevant or could, you, know, you, you could stumble upon. So what do we have here? So if I scroll down, we first of all, we see this here. So that's title field and it has this metadata button and it has a text field for the title. Um, below that we have with um, that thing that we can expand and collapse and expand and collapse. And in there, so we have different levels obviously, in there we have um, something that can be used to choose other content types, image or video. Um, we have these buttons here and um, we have another text fields and again something that we can expand and collapse, at least if we enter some text here. Um, we have some checkboxes and um, we can reorder this, that's important, that's something else obviously. And what else do we have? We have this thing in the middle, uh, which looks kind of eh, kind of complicated because um, it has more in there. And then again we have something we can expand and collapse, we have this field where we can choose other stuff that are that's uh, not libraries, so just other <laughs> stuff. Uh, we have a number field down here, and um, here we have something again we can expand and collapse, but it is for the translation, so um, all kind of things. And um, I hope you wonder how do I do that? Do I have to code? No, you don't have to code. At least not for that. Again, um, if you want to create something like course presentation, you will have to create your own ed editor and code it, but in this case you just have to describe it. And uh, the way it is done I can show you um, on the other side. So um, what you see here is the code of multiple choice question you will find it on GitHub. And whenever you encounter an HIP content type it will have this semantics.json file because um, that is how the editor, well, the where the editor is described. Uh, let me go back to the top. So. Um, that's the editor of multiple choice, and now we'll have a look at the semantics.json file. Um, well, .json already may tell you what it is. It, JSON is a well a data format that is used to describe data uh, that is that has some hierarchy, so to speak. It's kind of compact, as you as you will see. Um, and yeah, and in this case, it is used to describe the editor. So let's have a look. That is how it looks. So uh, let me scroll a little, maybe that way. So if we go down from top to bottom, first of all, we have the title field and the metadata button and this uh, yeah, the title label and the title field. And mm, there's nothing on the right side that resembles that. I can see media here, which might be this thing. And it is that thing. Um, but that title um, field is included by H5P, by the core of H5P, that is added automatically. You don't have to, to um, have that. Um, actually, there is a way to suppress it, um, <laughs> yeah, but that's part of, different, of a different wi video. Um, that's added by, um, by H5P, and below that, all that stuff that is, well, uh, described by you. So the person that has created the editor thought um, at the top should be this thing here where you can uh, choose um, the content type, let's say an image for example, and you see it will replace um, yeah, by another form actually, and if you have a look at the semantics.json of image, you will see how that is done. So actually that is just another part of semantics that you don't see here, but you would see in the image content type. So, um, so you cannot see it right now, but here image again has this metadata button that is again right by core, and then you have this, this part here down to hover text. That is from image and the other stuff is from uh, multiple choice. So uh, what is this thing that you can expand and collapse? 
here you can see so um, the title was media it has been replaced by uh, the image but it was media so here's this media thing so um, the label was media and it has a type and it has a name that are the I guess the most important things that you always have so label would be the, the yeah well <laughs> label uh, the type is in this case is a group which tells you that it can group different other types together and uh, we can have a look at the next level maybe directly so we have something which is called of type library that was this chooser here and uh, down below uh, we have something that is called boolean so if you know a little bit about coding boolean actually means true or false so these two options and um, that is this this field down here so disable image zooming so if, if you don't know what something is the, a good way to see it is to check the label so for example we have type here so that must be here so that, that is type and um, it is of type library that means it has some options in that case we'll have a look at all the details in a second or well, not all the details but some and here you can say okay the options should be h5p image of version 1.1 and h5p h5p video of version 1.5 so that are um, those there in here so if you, for example if you wanted to have other content types in here to choose I don't know if it would make much sense to um, to I don't know include a different question in here you could so you could just add one more option let's say h5p dictation 1.0 I guess is the current version and um, that wouldn't automatically bring h5p dictation in there you'd have to still have to to deal with it but um, in that case you, you would have to uh, have to add the option here and uh, yeah it's some other details obviously you can have description like optional media to display about the question that is obviously right here so uh, you have the label you have the description and some other stuff like optional in this case is set to true so we don't have this uh, red aster asterisk here and uh, for image it obviously is mandatory so you have to have at least um, uh, one content type here or the alternative text in image should be um, mandatory so that's why you don't see um, oh, oh sorry that is in image that is not in, in multiple choice of course um, yeah so we have that um, yeah what then we have this this what I call boolean which is like a checkbox in this case and again it has a label and has uh, does it have a description yeah it has a description where is it uh, no it doesn't have a description um, obviously we can set default values so should it be checked by default yes or no it says false so it is not checked by default and it's optional and um, yeah we have some other other thing here that you will see we have widget widget is something special um, you can amend the functionality of one of these um, fields in this case show when is used to um, yeah, it is, it's, it's kind of special, but you can have many, many there are different widgets. So when it's used to show and hide uh, a field conditionally. So this one says rules. If the field type, that one up here, is h5p image 1.1, then it is shown, otherwise it is not shown. So now it is shown. If I make a video out of that, then we don't have that button. So you can, um, that, that's how you can, conditionally hide and show options so if we scroll down a little bit then we have the most common thing I, I think is a text field it's labeled question so let's have a look where question is here is label question so that's our text field and um, well again it can have, can have a widget which is called HTML in that case um, that means you don't have like a simple text but I guess this one's a simple text field no it's also HTML so HTML means you have like the all the um, extra um, or some of the extra options like bold text, italic text, um, a lowercase. No, it's not lowercase. Uh, what is it? It's um, subscript. Thank you. Uh, it's subscript. So, um, if you some people wonder, okay, how do I add other uh, options here? Because some have more options. That is done if you have the. Uh, um, the widget HTML and you have some tags that you can define like strong em for italic subscript superscript you see that's 
that are gross and uh, uh, let's see that one's in there always I guess I'm not completely sure but it might be HP uh, H2 H2 H3 um, okay now strolling down now we have um, this thing here this reorder thingy and this is called a list uh, where you can have a list of things that you can reorder and uh, yeah again how would you find that um, a um, little tricky because it doesn't have oh look, there there it is there's the label available options and you would scroll down available options and uh, yeah this one is a list and um, yeah entity would be the uh, thing that is at entity which is, should be an option and uh, well now we go down one level what should be in this list it should be a group in this list so um, um, this thing is in here is a group all the all the oh there's just two in this case these two fields together are the list and in this list we have the group and we've already seen a group a group has fields and if we go on this group has um, this text field and it has uh, this boolean field which is this correct button and it has another group which can be expanded this is tips and feedback thing so we can just go go down here so um, that is how you uh, define those things. Then we have this overall feedback thing, which is a little more complicated. Um, no, it's not that more complicated. So again, it is a group and it has certain fields in here. And um, then the, the crazy part is this widget thing here. Again, it has widgets, which is called range list. And uh, you'd have to check um, the code of that one to find out um, how it works. They, they you have to have some extra code, for example, to this um, distribution button here that you have to code that. That is something extra, but uh, again, these fields, as you can see, um, are down here. So uh, we have the overall feedback thing, and we have the from part, and we have the to part, from and to, and we have the feedback. So um, again, the fields are in here. And if we scroll further down, oops, didn't want to mark it. Uh, yeah, you know that already now. It is a group, obviously, behavioral settings. So um, uh, there's a the group. Oh no, that's, that's, yeah, that's a special case in this case. Um, you see here now, that is a special case. Uh, we have all this widget thingy here. And now we don't have the behavioral settings because somebody, um, didn't write it in order. In that case, it, it, this one's a special case. That is um, the thing down below here, this one. And this has the common uh, property. And common means, um, yeah, I, g I guess it could have been labeled differently, but common means it belongs to this translation thing and that is always at the end. So it doesn't matter where you put that in the code, it will always be at the end. So uh, let's have a look at that one first. So these are all the translations and um, um yeah nothing nothing special here so um uh yeah you can like a, if, if you want to want to check how everything just uh, do that one by one so with that these are just text fields so and now we have the behavior the behavioral settings so uh, we have these and again um there's just just yeah, one or two things that we haven't seen before so uh, the one this one is the one that uh, I mentioned before, which we can have a look at if we search for question type. So let's see, where is question type? Uh, there it is, question type. Here it is. So this is a select field, which allows you to define, uh, like similar to the library options that we've seen before, um, but it's not a library, so you can define the labels that are in there. And uh, yeah, then we have the other booleans and down there this one is the thing that you haven't seen before it's a number field so where is it where is it where is it number here so um, yeah this one has some extra uh, properties again like the minimum value and the maximum value it could have um, the number of integers it should have um, the step um, obviously what's well in this case it's one so you can't have 100 or 99.5 you can just you know, go from in, in steps of one default is 100 
and uh, yeah now you've seen it all actually so that is how um, the you create the editor you don't have to code it you just describe it and um, well when you've done that you will see how it looks or if you don't see it maybe you've made a mistake in the, the syntax of this uh, file and uh, yeah then that's how you create the editor and if you save that h5p will give you um, actually it's also kind of just a JSON object which will contain in that case the name media and uh, the value it has um, and this is a group doesn't have a value but if you have like uh, this library field so in media if you have a JSON object you'll have media and uh, that will have the type and the type will be in this case what do we have h 5 video 1.5 so that is what you get in the in your own code or when you when you load the content type so that is what you can work with but um, well now you've seen um, how that is done you just create this JSON file and you don't have to take care of all the you don't need to code this expansion and collapsing thing for example so that is done for you so you can just use it and that's why you can really quickly create an editor for H5P again if you have special needs for course presentation where you want to drag drop stuff then you have to code that but um, just if you just need this form that's pretty simple and if you want to see all the details um, they're on the HFP web page of course so um, there's some some uh, documentation so um, if you go to the developer guide or maybe if you do let's let's go start from scratch so uh, if you are on h5.org and you click on documentation then you will be interested in the developer guide and uh, we want to see the h5p specification and there you will find semantics definition semantics.json so again there is uh, a list of all the the um, types that you can have you couldn't I think we all let's see have we seen them all um, no we haven't seen them all but the major ones so we have text we have number we have boolean these were the check boxes we had uh, the group which were uh, it's like a it's a group of other types of fields and uh, we have this list where you can resource order uh, uh, things with the select field that you can find with libraries and we didn't have image video audio and file um, we've seen the content type um, image and the content type video but maybe you just need an image and you don't need all the other stuff that the image library has and you get just do image it's just um, an expansion of the file um, that gives you a preview of the image and the same for video and the same for audio so uh, you could do that using content types but you can well it, yeah it's it's like basic types you have in here and uh, on the other axis you see all the properties that the um, uh, the types could have the fields could have so for example if we have uh, let's say a number field so a, a number field could have a name of course everything can have a name that is what you get in the content type uh, everything can have a label and everything can have a description and uh, everything could be optional or not uh, you could set a default value to number and uh, but not to group for example because group is just a wrapper for others um, oh yeah importance I didn't mention that but um, importance will define the color so um, if you set it to high um, it will be this blue thing I guess if it's low or medium it will be gray um, we would have to, I have to have to look that up myself but um, I guess if I click on importance I will get all the information I need common is for um, defining if it's used for um, the translations um, you see everything but a list can have a widget um, yeah then uh, list has widgets kind of a model model ones is a little different uh, yeah no, I, I think I don't have to go through all these if you're interested in um, in them so uh, for example what is rec exp just for text um, then you can click on rec exp and and you will get an explanation here so um, everything that is in here is described and um, if you have a look at the video that I created for modifying content types and, and repackaging them um, um, yeah in my demo I modified HYFE dictation to display hello um, of course you could modify semantics dot the semantics.json file and maybe you could um, if we have a look at it again where is it um, here it is so um, could be multiple choice for example 
just see what happens if you um well it's kind of obvious if you if you change default to true uh but have a look what changes if you set the importance from low to high or um what is it it's a boolean field so what then we have here so maybe add a widget uh, the show when wi widget to another one just just play around a little and uh, find out what happens so um that's it for uh, semantics.json how you create editors in h5p of course can get much more complicated but i guess this should help you to get started see you next time bye